Hey, what's up everybody? Rob Marzullo here, Ram Studio Comics. Welcome back. So in this video, I'm using Procreate again, and I'm using the iPad Pro, which I've been like just addicted to lately because it's just a great drawing experience. And so I'm drawing Rogue from X-Men on the 90s style uh, fashion that I was always kind of more partial to. I just always thought that was like the coolest uh, Rogue design or whatever. Uh, so drawing her and uh, having some fun with that and, and basically just wanted to show you how, you know, the penciling uh, is really natural in this software. So I've already uploaded a digital painting one. I guess my first one was a sketch slash color. This one's just more kind of rendering or penciling. And I just want to show you how you can get a pretty realistic or I guess it's not realistic, but a pretty good comic book style uh, with the setup, you know. Uh, since that's traditionally what I do here and, and what I share the most of. Um, so I immediately obviously gravitate towards that. So I really like the feeling of this. The penciling is very natural. Um, the process is, is pretty quick. Um, you know, I would say quicker than, than when I draw on my Cintiq, but, but maybe not. Maybe not yet because I'm just still so accustomed to what I've done on my Cintiq and Sketchbook Pro and things like that. Uh, but I think for the short amount of time that I've been using this, I'm able to already get some pretty good pencil um, effects with this program and with the setup. So keep that in mind. Like one of the questions that somebody had responded back to one of my first videos um, was like, you know, what, what made you ultimately go with this, this setup? And do you feel like there's any big differences uh, to your Cintiq or anything like that? And uh, ultimately what it is is that uh, a big one for me was the price point, um, the the iPad Pro uh, compared to the Cintiq Companion uh, is about half the price. And then the other thing was it was just uh, portability in the sense of not having to charge, recharge. It really bothered me when I read reviews and it said that you had to recharge every few hours. Um, where I don't have to recharge with this for like 10 hours. And so it's a, that was a big one for me because I really wanted the experience that I'm just drawing on a pad of paper. And uh, so the more I, uh, I studied it, um, the more it seemed like this was a good fit. And uh, now looking back in retrospect, I'm really glad I made that decision because it does. It feels like I'm just sketching. I can sit back on you know my recliner or whatever and uh, hang out with the family upstairs and just scribble on a project, you know, or something or whatever I'm doing that day. So, so yeah, so now it's making the, the apps work for me in the way that I need them to, and to be able to create artwork in a timely fashion, the way that I need to. And, uh, but so far so good. It's looking very promising. And like I said, I really enjoy the feel of it, the ultimate feel and control to where I feel like I'm able to get a pretty decent, um, you know, rendition. So the reason why I wanted to show you this one is, you know, to see that I could get those smaller type render lines and stuff that we like to do in comics so much, you know, the little detailed shading and a little bit of cross hatching and texture lines and things like that. Uh, so I'll be showing you uh, next, I'll be showing you some inking because I've already been inking in it and it's actually yielded some really nice results for inking as well. I don't know that I'll ink this piece or I'll do something else, uh, a set of eyes or you know, some muscles or, or whatever, you know, but, um, but yeah, the inking actually feels pretty, uh, pretty darn spot on as well. So, so yeah, pretty excited to see what I can keep doing in this, uh, this setup. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just reiterate, I don't think this is going to replace my desktop by any means, but it's definitely a nice addition to it. And that's really what I wanted. And that's why I didn't mind going this route and maybe saving a few bucks because I don't need uh, you know, as nice as it would sound to have a total backup of my desktop, um, I don't necessarily need that. I'll still do my finished work uh, and main production work probably at my desktop. But if I can do the preliminary sketching and stuff like this and get it all ready, then, you know, it's all better for the process. So as always, thanks very much for watching. Keep drawing, keep having fun, and I will talk to you soon.